and there's a law enforcement officer right there. Uh, in fact, you know, I think that's regular motorcycle. But regardless, uh, at times, vehicle going in and out of all traffic lanes, weaving through traffic. And so we're just coming up here shortly on to the 126. Uh, so number one, number two lane, swerving in and out of these traffic lanes. Traffic right now going about 55 miles per hour here. And this is one of these Mercedes commercial vans. Is that correct? I'm sorry, Carolyn, say it, that again. I said it's a Mercedes van, a Sprinter, we understand. Have you been able yeah, to it's tell? A, no, not yet, but you can see the large van there mm -hmm. makes it a little difficult for them to be able to uh, uh, pull this vehicle over as far as making an attempt of doing a, uh, right. a pits maneuver might be a little difficult. I think that vehicle right there is going to outweigh your average CHP unit. I will tell you, however, they are setting up spike strips. That is what they're planning to do. They hope to get a spike strip deployed. And you can see he's coming up on an exit here. That's the, um, not too, see, he's just, oh, he almost mm. just wrecked on that uh, on that uh, center median there, uh, that off ramp. Uh, so that was, I believe, the Rose exit. We're trying to get the locator here. Uh, that was Telephone Road, just past Telephone Road on the 101 freeway in Ventura County. The 126 is coming up, so I'm not going to. I'm not sure if he's going to take that exit here, but you can see how he comes up really close onto this big rig here, and I believe this is the 126. Yeah. And only one way to go that would be eastbound back into LA County, perhaps. Interesting, and and we can see here this um, big rig pulling over here, really slowing down, almost to a stop, it appears, uh, and now he's going around alongside that. Yeah, that big rig almost, uh, you, uh, it almost appeared perhaps that big rig was trying to slow him down, but mm -hmm. the big rig heard the sirens. Uh, the guy did what he was supposed to do. He yielded yeah. to the right, and uh, for, unfortunately, this guy was able to get around him. So, uh, Carolyn, we're now on the 126, working our way back toward L.A. County, which is kind of a far reach. We're going to have to go through the elements of Thousand Oaks, Simi Valley, and all that area. Uh, but unfortunately, the 126, only a two-lane highway, and right now traffic is relatively light. So most likely we're going to see open speeds along this portion of the roadway. But if anything, this would be a perfect opportunity where units can deploy a spike strip up ahead of the road here. So hopefully uh, that may be an option to bring this pursuit to a safe end. Megan, are we still technically in Camarillo at this point? Yeah, we are. Technically, we're going back towards the Camarillo area. We mm. did pass Camarillo Airport. At times, speeds were about 90 miles per hour. I was monitoring this pursuit as News Chopper 4, the only one covering this pursuit right now, as we were uh, headed toward this pursuit. We're exiting Victoria, so we're exiting Victoria off the 126. Let's see what happens as this vehicle takes the exit and see what he decides to do. Yeah, is this the Satakoy area? I'm not too sure the area, but I know we're by Buena High School. We're near Buena High School. We just exited Victoria. We're northbound Victoria off the 126, crossing over the 126 right there below. Buena High School is just to the east of us, so we're going to see what this person decides to do, continuing northbound on Victoria. So now we're on surface streets here. Now, the suspect vehicle did go on surface streets earlier in the Thousand Oaks area. He was on surface streets for about five minutes and then went back onto the freeway. So now we're in the, uh, I want to say Camarillo area, somewhere in this area, Ventura County on Victoria, just right off the 126. Pilot telling me we have a lot of traffic coming up here, Oof. so let's see what happens as he approaches this intersection. Yeah, this is always uh, really a tough one when you see this, this amount of cars, and now he's in a bike lane approaching a red light, and he is stopping here at least. Yeah, you can see he's uh, making a right turn here off of this road here, um, listening to the CHP, trying to see, uh, they just changed frequencies, so I need to find that eastbound Telegraph Road. So we're eastbound Telegraph Road from Victoria. If you're familiar with this area, if I pull out, you're gonna see the high school. The high school is right in this area. So uh, fortunately, we don't see much activity there. That yellow helicopter, that's Ventura County Sheriff's. I believe that's a Ventura County Sheriff's. They are assisting, and you can see the vehicle now slowing down. We're about to uh, bring our viewers on NBC4 on, so we're gonna pause for just a moment here, and then we'll be back on the web as well. Following breaking news for you right now, it is a chase involving this Mercedes van news chopper for the only chopper overhead. Megan Reyes has been doing a great job following this for us. It's been a little dicey here now that we're in, on city streets. Megan, what's the latest here? He's really slowed to a stop, essentially.
Yeah, Caroline, we've been following this pursuit out of L.A. County through Camarillo. You can see that it's Telegraph Road. Vehicle just made a right turn off of Telegraph Road. We're just really close to uh, uh, high school in this area. Let me try to get us positioned here. We can let you know the exact location. But uh, California Highway Patrol has been pursuing this vehicle. Ventura County uh, uh, CHP has been pursuing this white vehicle. Now, what we understand is this is an unreported stolen vehicle out of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's jurisdiction. This vehicle was traveling through the Topanga area. LAPD saw this vehicle. They attempted to pull the vehicle over and was a fa and the vehicle failed to yield, ensuing a pursuit. We're on Surface Streets area here in Ventura County, right off the of Telegraph Road. You can see he's pulling into a parking lot right here. Uh, this is a, this may actually be a school here. This is uh, possibly a school here. So uh, we'll try to see what's happening here, but I believe this is, uh, I'm trying to see what school this exactly is here. Uh, Balboa Middle School. This might be near Balboa Middle School. Vehicle going through the school parking lot, coming back out onto the main street right now. So uh, this is Woodland Street. This is Woodland Street. And indeed, that was Balboa Middle School. Mm -hmm. So dangerous situation here. Coming up on 2 o'clock, we may still have students in session. Uh, but right now, you can see this pursuit here in the Ventura city limits. CHP doing what they can. In fact, there's a school bus right there showing evidence that uh, children are perhaps getting out of school. Yeah, and Megan, we watched some really dangerous driving on the 101 where this driver was in the shoulder, uh, you know, zipping past cars that were slowed on the freeway in the Camarillo area. His speeds obviously reduced significantly here, but still, uh, we don't know what's going on with this driver. No, this driver is failing to yield. That is uh, Victoria Street right up there. So if any good news, the driver is complying. Uh, that is Woodland and Victoria. You can see the driver's just complying with the uh, traffic laws, which is a good thing right now. Earlier, mm -hmm. we saw him blazing through a couple of signal lights, failing to yield, uh, causing perhaps a very dangerous situation. But what's more dangerous, the fact that the driver drove through Balboa Middle School, mm -hmm. and we're still near Buena High School, which is just on the other side of Victoria. So we're not sure if students are on spring break, but the fact that we saw a school bus just a second ago, evidence that perhaps they are getting ready to pick up children as it's a two o'clock here. School probably gets out within the next hour or so. Let's zoom in here and see what the driver is doing. Driver seems to be nonchalant right now, just waiting, casual. Uh, I, you know, right now, from what it appears, only one person in that vehicle. Not too sure if we have multiple occupants. Can't see what's in the back. But again, an alleged stolen vehicle reported out of the L.A. County Sheriff's jurisdiction. LAPD attempted to pull it over. Units from the Topanga Division. The vehicle did not pull over, ensuing in a pursuit. Now we're in the city of Ventura here, approaching Victoria. And we're going to see what's going to happen as this light turns green. And, and Megan, there is a CHP unit directly behind uh, this van at this point is there not or very close yes there we do see law enforcement see mm -hmm. yeah he's going southbound in fact i believe they may have tried to deploy spike strips there so we're not sure if it was successful but we're going southbound victoria southbound victoria back to the 126 and in fact we're pulling into this uh, high school this is a uh, buena high school pulling into the high school here look at this unit right here he's going to go up, up there and hopefully cut him off so this might be coming to an end. Let's see what happens as he approaches that officer. Officers approaching the guy with their guns drawn right now. So hopefully this is coming to an end here. Buena High School here, right off of Victoria near Telegraph. This is always a tense situation when we get to this point and the driver is not exiting the vehicle now we see him speeding up here oh What's my he goodness look at that oh. yeah guys in fact he just accelerated toward officers there a uh, very dangerous situation in fact this is the second time a pursuit we've covered within the past hour we saw an assault on a police officer good afternoon once again i'm glenn walker along with lou parker in the ktla5 studios we have yet another pursuit here in southern california this one uh, a stolen vehicle and this one started in Oxnard. It's a large vehicle. I'm uh, not clear exactly what type of vehicle this is. Uh, Tim Lynn is up in Sky 5. Uh, what details do you have for us, Tim? Oh, look, we're, this guy just pulled over in the high school here, and he was on Victoria just turning now back to the west here. This is a uh, some type of Sprinter van, a Mercedes Sprinter van. It's a stolen vehicle. 
and uh, the CHP has been pursuit of this thing all the way out of the uh, San Fernando Valley. Now we're in the middle of Ventura, just uh, north of Oxnard, and we're continuing here now. What they're calling southbound uh, right now. It's actually we're heading west, but uh, the Ventura County Sheriff's and CHP are on it at right now, along with Ventura County Sheriff's. Uh, looked like he was about ready to give up there, pulling into a school parking lot. But then he, uh, once the officers got out of their cars and started approaching him, he uh, took off again. But right now he's at the right shoulder here. Cars are, you see his car just confused. He hears sirens, sees his big white van behind him, tries to pull over. The van just goes right in behind him. But right now we're heading west on Telegraph from Victoria in the city of Ventura. Could be coming up on Ventura High School here in a few seconds for the uh, folks familiar with this area. But this pursuit has been going on for well over uh, uh, 45 minutes. Uh, went through the area of the, uh, the West Valley, got into Thousand Oaks, went through a shopping mall out there, and uh, then got on that 101, headed out through Camarillo, got off uh, at Victoria, has been going through the Ventura County area, or Ventura City area. You see him just getting really close to these cars. Now he's making a turn. This is into the high school parking lot. The high school parking lot, Ventura High School. Actually, no, it's a college is what Tim Deckett, my uh, uh, pilot or a camera operator, is telling me. I was looking down at the field. It looked like a uh, high school to me. But he's in the college parking lot now. Uh, Ventura College is uh, what I've been told. And as he makes his turn to the uh, parking lot, the uh, Ventura County Sheriff are now sealing off the uh, exits of the driveway on both ends to get the CHP directly behind him uh, pulling through here. And, you know, the, it's a stolen vehicle. We don't know what the suspect uh, mindset is at this point. You know, why did he steal this car? Was there stuff inside this uh, vehicle that he really wanted? You know, if it's a, a work truck with tools or, or some type of cargo van. It looks like the driver door is open. Uh, the, the, see the units just surrounding him as he starts to go up. Door looks like it might have went closed again as I worked Sky 5 around. Now he's starting to work his way back east as uh, we uh, kind of circle over the top of this parking lot. Pick it up speed, spike strips, spike strips right there. Over the spike strips, a good spike. You saw that little black line just come out from behind him. Uh, they were quick enough to get that spike strip out. Now he's coming back out to Telegraph, uh, going to be coming back westbound Telegraph here away from uh, Ventura College. As we come around, uh, we'll follow him on. Hopefully it took out those two right side tires. That will definitely take care of this uh, uh, car as far as it, uh, going too much further, but he has been at high rate of speeds at times and then as you've been watching him very very slow in the right hand shoulder So uh, and I don't know why he's picking schools to go through as I said He was in a high school a little bit earlier in that parking lot thought he was gonna give up and now he's fishtailing just a little bit Oh, yeah, he's got the rear tires uh, giving up on him a little bit You can see it's starting to wiggle there a little bit as he comes up to the next intersection He's coming up on a red light and uh, going through that intersection, no traffic, and you can see that tail of that car just wiggling, so you know that rear tire has gone flat on him. Those spike strips are designed to release the air very slowly. Uh, they're basically uh, metal tubes that are very sharp, and they're, they're uh, like a straw, basically, that goes into the tire and then lets the air out slowly, so it just doesn't, uh, you know, as you see in the movies, explode if it goes over it. But this one here just lets it out, and he'll slowly and surely start losing control of that rear of the van. And if they got that right front tire, that should be able to take that out as well and stop his ability to maneuver. But his speed is picked up pretty good here. Here westbound on, oh, you see the smoke there. He just lost that uh, left front tire. So he's on the rim there. The tires will start uh, heating up like that because they're being just drugged uh, over the ground by the rims. And then you'll start seeing chunks of tires flying off here, and you'll see donuts. You know, that tire just come off and ri rip across the street. Up, oh, through, just barely missed that car. Uh, as you continue westbound here on Telegraph, uh, going through a very uh, populated area, shopping area, another school up ahead. And at, uh, you know, 207, hopefully you don't have a lot of kids out here, but he's on brakes now, slowing down, uh, coming into traffic. And that was a very, very close to that car that crossed in front of him as he blew through that red light. But as he comes up, he's coming to a uh, slowing down. But once he loses uh, traction here and he slows down, those tires will give up on him. And then the rims are very, very useless on the uh, asphalt. And he'll start spinning. Doors open. Doors open here. You see the CHP officers here. He's coming to a stop. Uh, guy's out on foot. We're going to keep a close eye. He's starting to walk away. This is uh, heading up. Uh, into a, uh, oh, boom, pushed him down. CHP officer, actually this is Ventura police officer in foot pursuit. Uh, looked like he just tried to knock him down, but right now he's running. He's uh, tackled. Oh, he's just, now he's going to just take him down, drop him to the ground. Here comes his uh, fellow officers. 
uh, going to take him into custody right now here, uh, right by another school here. And I'll get the name of this one here. But it uh, looks like maybe uh, uh, the uh, officers now have him under the tree here. And uh, you see them just taking him into custody, holding his legs, getting the handcuffs on him. And then the officer here uh, uh, calling code for They're going to go back and check on the uh, van as well. But uh, uh, pursuit that just very strangely uh, racing along the freeways, getting into Ventura here. And then finally, Ventura uh, uh, Police Department, along with the county sheriffs and CHP, able to spike strip that van and uh, run the tires off it, which is exactly what we want to see. So right now, uh, from what we saw, nobody really injured in this pursuit as far as citizens. But the suspect is in custody and uh, will be heading off to the, uh, to the jail for the rest of the afternoon. So. All right, Tim Lynn, thank you so much. Uh, again, this uh, pursuit uh, starting in the San Fernando Valley area, going through that area, um, ending up in Oxnard. Uh, that spike strip just uh, made things worse for him, and he couldn't control this uh, stolen, alleged stolen vehicle. A second pursuit today, busy yeah. day. Um, we this are one gonna, much slower. Yeah, exactly. We're going to take a quick break uh, for about 45 minutes, and we'll be back at 3 o'clock for our 3 o'clock newscast and our special Dodgers show.